Hi, do you want to keep fit while off the tennis court? I'm Ian Vigin, this is IV Tennis Coaching, and we've got the third instalment in our Cardio Tennis at Home series. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Let's start with our warm up. So, first of all, we're going to take it really easy and we're going to start walking on our toes. So, you're just going to start walking on your toes. And then we're going to start rotating those arms forwards. So still on our toes, rotating those arms forwards very slowly. So we're starting very slow and we're going to build up ourselves throughout this warm up. Now we're going to go walking on our heels. That's it, so just warming up those calf muscles. Just very gently just walking on your heels and your feet. Get those arms going backwards now. Those arms going backwards. That's it, just doing little steps. They're nice and easy. That's it. And then we're going to start with marching. So we're going to start marching. So at the beginning, just going to start with our legs coming up very low. And then we're going to keep those arms going a bit faster, so the knees coming up a little bit higher, and we can start slapping our backs. That's it. Let's keep those knees marching. Good. I'm going to bring those knees up even higher now, and we're going to do a stretch across our body. So you're going to bring your left arm across the body, bring it towards us with our other arm while we're still marching, getting those knees up nice and high, that's it, and then we're going to change arms, very good, keep those knees going really high, and now we're just going to go into a bit of a jog, going to go jogging, just about 50%. Nice and easy, we're going to build our intensity up throughout this warm up, okay? That's it. Still jogging 50%. Little steps. And now we're going to go into our heel flicks. So we're going to flick our heels up to our bum. Like this. Gotta try and keep those heels going really high. Keep it going up. Every single step. Really good. Now we're gonna go into our high knees. So we're gonna bring those knees up nice and high. As high as you can go. Good job. And now even higher, as high as you can go now. Really high. Fantastic. And now we're going to go into skips. So we're going to start really low skips to start with. And start swinging those arms just a little bit. So remember, we're still quite low on these skips. Still building ourselves up. And then we're going to go into high skips. So we're going to start building it higher and driving those arms now. Driving those arms nice and high. That's it, keep those arms going. Good job. And now we're just going to do some little steps from one side to the other. That's it, and then we're just going to go a little bit further. 
with each step, just take it that little bit further each time. Make sure you don't overbalance though. You still want to keep balance. Make sure you use those arms. Very good. And then we're just going to go into some side steps. It doesn't matter if you've not got a lot of space. Just got to do little steps side to side. You can get nice and low. Sink your bum out. Make sure you keep your eyes looking into the distance. Keep that side stepping going. Good job, last few steps. And then back to jogging. We're going to go 60%. We're going to build the intensity of our running now. So we're just starting at 60%. Nice and easy. That's it. We're going to have a fun session today. So we want to make sure our body's ready, ready to go. We've got our whole body, just a little bit of our arms, a bit with our legs moving. Okay, now we can go 70%. So we go 70%. Good job. And you just start using those arms a little bit now to help you a little stay balanced. So just going 70%. And then you guess where we're going next? We're going to go 80%. So we go those feet a little bit faster. Good job. Now when I'm explaining some of the activities we're going to do today, I want you to keep jogging on the spot. If you're feeling really fit, you can still do star jumps. But it's a way of kind of keeping your heart rate up while I'm talking so you get the maximum benefit. So at 80%. Good job. So I'm pumping those arms out a little bit more now. Keep going. We're gonna go 90%. Those arms up a little bit more as well. Good job, 90%. And then 100%, as fast as you can go. Wanna go as fast as you can, really fast. Fast arms, fast feet, really quick. And hold it there. Well done, guys. Hope you're feeling warm. I definitely am. What we're going to do is a circuit. This is our tennis circuit. And I'm going to give you an activity to do, and you've got to do as many of those as you can in 30 seconds. There are going to be three levels. Level one's the easiest, level two is the middle one, level three is the hardest. And you pick the level that is right for you, and you've got to do as many as you can. Now, if you have a tennis racket, then brilliant, go and get it. If you don't, but you have a tin of beans, that also can help. That's just if you want to move to the next level and sometimes we add weights to try and make it a little bit trickier. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do are the lunges. So level one, you're just gonna start just doing your normal lunges. Level two, you can add some weights, so either rackets or beans, and you do your weights. Level three, you've got to do jump lunges. Okay, so level three is like that. Okay, on your marks, get set, let's go. We're going to do our lunge and lean forwards. You want to make sure you keep your back nice and straight, looking into the distance, keep your and back leg just off the floor. Doing really well, guys. You can mix it up. If you want to change the levels, you can. Doing really well. Okay, 
So the next one, our star jump. So level one, the normal star jumps. Level two, add some weight. Level three, do the burst. So you've got to bring your feet and arms back together at the same time, okay? So off we go. Next 30 seconds. Doing really well, guys. Yeah, well, our bees are going to be mixed up after this. Okay, 15 more seconds. Doing really well. Fantastic. Next one, lunges. We're going to do lateral lunges. So you're going to step for like that for level one. Level two, add some weight. Level three, add lots of weight. Okay, so level three, add lots of weight. We're going to do one leg for 15 seconds and then we're going to swap over. Okay, now we're going to change over. Let's get the other side now. So keep your back nice and straight, looking into the distance. Doing really well. Okay, next one of the squats. So, level one, we're going to just do our normal squats. Level two, add some weight. Okay, level three, arms above your head with the weight, okay? Off we go. So, pick the level that's right for you. You want to make sure you keep your back nice and straight. And right, go down as low as you can go. Make sure when you're doing these, your knees are going out. So your knees are not coming in, they're going out over your toes. Do really well. Great job. Just gonna rest for 30 seconds now. So keep jogging on the spot. Jogging on the spot, keep your heart rate up. Doing really well. Next one we're gonna do are mountain climbers. So level one, jump high knees. High knees on those mountain climbers. Level two, find a wall. We do our mountain climbers against the wall. Level three on the floor. So mountain climbers on the floor like that. So pick whichever level you want to do, whichever one works for you, do as many as you can. Right, off we go. Good job guys. Do as many as you can go do. Go as fast as you can go. If you want to start on a high level and then drop down, that's okay. Similarly, if you want to go the other way and make it a little bit trickier, and do that, give it a go. Good job, last few. Are you pushing now? Great job. Okay, next one we're going to do are the wood chops. So, level one, bring your arm from high to low, diagonally as quick as you can. Level two, one piece of weight. Level three, two pieces of weight. We're going to go, let's go. We're going to go on one side for 30 seconds, and then in a couple of goes time, we're going to go the other diagonal. So keep your, your base nice and wide. Make sure you reach up nice and high and pull down. Make sure there's nobody around you. If you're doing this with somebody else, make sure you've got loads of space. Don't need black eyes or anything. Okay, next one, the wall press. Level one, just do a press against the wall. Level two, feet wider apart. Level three, press up. Do the level that suits you. I'm gonna do this one. So you go towards the wall. Make sure those elbows get out. You know, it's kind of like diagonal position. Good job. Woo. If you're finding it a little trickier, move your feet a little bit closer to the wall. It makes it a little bit easier. Get last few seconds. 
Brilliant, now we're gonna go the wood chop the other way. So, level one, coming across your body. Level two, one piece of weight. Level two, level three, sorry. Level three, two pieces of weight. Okay, off we go. So you get a wide base. Great job. Then across your body and reach up really high and pull down. Really good. Your arms, your torso, and your legs as well. So as many as you can do. Doing really well, guys. Last awesome couple. Great job. Have a break. Now, just keep jogging on the spot, keeping your heart rate up. This is the figure of eight challenge. And we're going to get our beans about three foot away from each other. And we're going to grab our racket and our ball, and we're going to sidestep in and out of the beans in a figure of eight formation. After we've done one circuit, so in and out, we're going to put our racket on the floor, and we level one is we're going to do one second of air punches, then we pick up our racket, and we go around, and we go round twice for the second time. And then we put our racket down, we do two seconds of air, air punches. And then we go round three times, four times, and so on. Now, if you want to do level two, after you've gone in and out, you do a squat, okay? Level three is a burpee. So you go down, arms, legs out, then together, then up. We're gonna see how many we can do in two minutes, then we're gonna have a minute's rest, and then we go for another two minutes. Okay, so you've got yourself your tin of beans, and you've got your racket, you're gonna get into position. On your marks, get set, let's go. So in and out, in and out, so that's one. So I'm gonna do one squat to start. Okay, okay number two now, so I'll do two. That's one, that's two, right, burpee. One, two, and out, in and out, in and out. Okay, I'm going to do three punches this time. One, two, three. Okay, going to go up to number four now. In and out. One, that's two. And that's four. Okay, right, I'm gonna do four squats. One, two, three, four, and I've gotta go five. Okay, you're bouncing. If you're feeling confident, try doing some juggles. Do some juggle volleys. That's three, four. One more circuit. And five. Right, five seconds of air punches. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try to get to six now. Go at your own pace. Do as many as you can do. Goodness! Woo. Well done, guys. Good job. All right, shake it out. Oh. Shake out those legs. So now this time we're going to start on the number on the number you're on. So I got to I think I got to six. So I'm going to start on six, and I've got to try and work my way down to zero. And I'm going to see if I can beat my score from last time. If you want to, as I said, if you want to get creative, when you're going in and out, try bouncing the ball on your racket, or even more creative, try the uh, Twizzler. Okay, so you can really do what's best for you. Okay, so we're ready. On your marks, 
Get set. Let's go. So that's it. Plus side six. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. All right, six left of air punches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. Can be five now. Keep going, guys. Get creative. I'm going to do five squats. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, four now. Right, now I'm on to three. Keep going, guys. Doing really well. One, two, three. Three seconds. One, two, three. Keep going, guys. Last few seconds. One. Oh, goodness. Oh, well done, guys. How did you get on? That was tough. Now it's challenge time. So every week we set you a different challenge and you've got to see how well you can do. So this week we're gonna do the tennis racket hold. So level one, you're gonna stand in a half squat and have your arms out straight for a whole minute. So you've got to hold these arms dead straight for a whole minute. Level two, we need to grab your racket and you've got to hold that for a whole minute. And if you want to go level three, you can add some weights. So, get our beans back. We're going to put those onto our racket. And you've got to hold it out for a whole minute. Like that. Okay? So, pick the level that's right for you. And then you've got to try and hold it for as long as you can. Okay? Off we go. So, you've got to keep ourselves in a half squat position, get a nice wide base, you've got to have those arms at least shoulder height. So you're going to keep it at shoulder height and make sure you keep the racket nice and level. So you can feel it in your shoulders, you should feel it in your glutes as well. This is, a, this is a good one. It doesn't sound like a lot when you start, but about 30 seconds in, starting to feel it now. Do really well. And if you're enjoying these sessions, then give us a like, and subscribe to our channel, and you'll get to see all the videos as we put them up. Also, send some pictures of you doing these challenges. So see, uh, we want to see how you guys are getting on. So if you want to, then you can send it to our Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram pages. Okay, last few seconds, guys. Activity completed. Oh, well done. Fantastic. Great job. How did you get on? Now it's time for our cool down. So, just going to be jogging on the spot. Jogging on the spot. Really well. Swinging those arms forwards. That's it. Good job. And then we're going to swing those arms backwards. Still jogging on the spot. Okay, now we're just going to go into marching feet. And we're going to slap our backs. Those arms working as well.
Brilliant. Okay, right now we're going to go to our calf stretch. So you're going to find a piece of wall, and then we're going to put our one, your right leg back and nice and straight, left leg bent. We're going to push against the wall, and you should feel it in this part of your muscle here into our calf. That's it. Nice deep stretch. Good job. And then change legs. Really good. You really feel it in that back of that straight leg now. So back of that left leg. That's a really good stretch. Okay, now we're going to go into our hamstring stretch. So we're going to put our right leg straight, left leg bent. Stick your bum out. Bend over that uh, right leg, hands on your left leg, and you want to feel it down the back of that straight leg. Fantastic, that's a really nice stretch. Good job. And then we're going to change, we're going to change over. So you're going to bend your right leg now, left leg straight, nice and straight. So you've got that, bend, that straight leg and your bum sticking out. And you feel it down the back of that straight leg. Good job. Well done. A few more seconds. That's it. Okay, now we're going to do a quad stretch. So we're going to pull our heel up to our bum. And you're going to have your knees together. And push your hips forwards. You should feel it down the, back, down the front of this leg. A nice deep stretch there. Really good. Fantastic. If you can, stay nice and tall. That's it. And then we're going to change legs. So pull that heel up to your bum. And have our knees together. And then the hips going forwards. Very good. Oh, that's a really good stretch. That's it. Okay, just shake it out a little bit. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Gonna turn that left toe out. Gonna bend that knee and then just lean back. You should be in the inside of your straight leg. That's it. Have you been enjoying this session today? I have. It was a tough one. It's. Uh, hope you found the level that was right for you. Okay. Let me turn that left toe in, right toe out. Bend over that leg. Get that leg, the back, the other leg, nice and straight. You feel on the inside of that one. Fantastic. You feel a nice stretch on the inside. Leaning back. Fantastic, then we're going to bring those feet together and we're going to put our arms nice and wide, start in little circles and then they're going to get slightly bigger, size of footballs, size of basketballs, size of Swiss balls, as a ginormous, like car tyres, like tractor tyres. Very good. And then we're going to go back the other way, so something big. We can go smaller and smaller to the size of footballs and volleyballs, tennis balls, golf balls. Then we go forwards and back and then up and down, try to fly. And then slap your back and then give yourself a big hug and drop your chin to your chest and take a deep breath you should feel it between your shoulder blades this one okay then swap over swap those arms over deep breath chin to your chest really good and then one last one you're going to put your hand between your shoulder blades and then pull your elbow towards your head like that 
that. Fantastic. And then put your other hand between your shoulder blades. Put your elbow towards your head. That's it, you should feel it down this part of your arm. And great job, you are done. Well done. I hope you've enjoyed today's session. If you have, why don't you give us a like? You can also subscribe to our channel and then you get to see all the videos as we put them up. We really love seeing your pictures, so if you want to get in contact with us, you can see our Twitter, Facebook and Instagram pages below. We hope to see you soon.